We're down and out right now. Bad Knitzer fan motor. Bad fan motor. This motor's a uh, one third, 1075, 230 volt. I'm done. You're not going to see any wires coming out the barbecue grill. We're going to do it right. It's not going to take that much time. The motor's out, nice and easy. We're going to take the blade off. We're going to try to do it without a puller. It's going to go. The blade is off, and I'm going to go down to my truck. It was, it was actually no problem at all. And I'm going to go get a uh, motor. This one is pretty warm. Here's my uh, condenser fan motor. It's one third, one fifth, two speed fan motor, universal. Three or four wire hookup on the side here. I'll probably do three wire. And then uh, I'm running two eight volts. So I have a 7.5 run cap. And we're gonna dress up these wires so they're not sticking out. And we'll be back online pretty shortly. I gotta cut the bolts off on the bottom here so it mounts flush on that plate. Then these are my these are my screws to hook up on the side over there. I just have to tighten up the set screw, and I'm gonna drop her in. It's up running again. It's 100 degrees out right now. It didn't take that long to put the, the motor in. We got this one over here. We got the wires hanging out. That was not me. I don't do that kind of work. Because it's the reinforced wires sticking out. Doesn't mean I did it. Or you can do this. You take the bracket off and just get a. You know, you don't have the right motor. Just stick it in like here like this one and then you can have the wires and put some bailing wire or thermostat wire to hold them up and, you know, get a good deal now you have a motor that's too big and running too many amps great 